you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Welcome to this demonstration for the Ruckus Analytics Cloud Service for Network Intelligence and Service Assurance. The videos in this series will describe the various views, services, and capabilities of the Ruckus Analytics platform. In this video, I'll detail the steps needed to onboard a smart zone network controller to Ruckus Analytics and how to license access points for monitoring. Before we jump into the demonstration, let's go through a quick review of Ruckus Analytics. Ruckus Analytics is a cloud-based software as a service or SaaS platform that requires a subscription. Once subscribed, you can configure smart zone network controllers to forward data to the service, allowing for in-depth analysis. In order to allow the smart zone controller to communicate with the Ruckus Analytics service, the controller must be onboarded. I'll be describing that process shortly. Onboarding the smart zone controller itself does not require any licenses, only a subscription to the service. However, once it is onboarded, you need data from the controlled APs to populate the service. This capability does require a license, and each AP that you wish to collect data from requires its own license. This process will also be covered in this presentation, so let's get started. Now let's assume you've already purchased your subscription to Ruckus Analytics. In order to collect any data, you first have to onboard a smart zone controller. This is done on the controller's user interface. As you can see, I've just logged into my controller. First thing to note is that in order to manage your controller, it must be running release 5.1.2 or greater, and both the Essentials and High Scale editions are supported. The next step is to navigate to System on the left side here, then select the Cloud Services tab. From here, enabling the Ruckus Analytics service is done in just a few easy steps. First thing you do is select your region from the dropdown, then you have to log into the Ruckus Cloud service. This is done by toggling the Cloud SZ service switch to on. You'll be required to provide your credentials. These are the same as you use for your Ruckus Analytics account. If valid, the connection status should change to connected. Then you'll have to enable Ruckus Analytics by toggling that switch to on as well. Once access to the service is validated, the connection status here will change to connected also. Okay, now that we're connected, let's jump over to Ruckus Analytics. As you can see, I'm already logged in. To check the status of our onboarding, we'll navigate to Admin on the left side pane. Once clicked and expanded, we'll select Onboarded Systems, which should be selected by default. Here we see the statuses of onboarded systems. Each controller in the list will have a colored status indicator, and each of the colors have specific meanings. If the indicator is green, the controller is onboarded and connected successfully, and data has been transmitted to the Ruckus Analytics. If the indicator is yellow, onboarding is in progress. And if the indicator is red, the connection to the controller is lost or data is not being transmitted. If the indicator is gray, the controller is offboarded and not sending any data, meaning it's been disabled from the smart zone controller by toggling the switch to off. Now that my smart zone is onboarded, let's get my AP's license. We do this from the licenses link. This is over on the left under admin. The area is populated with purchased licenses. AP licenses should have been purchased when you purchased your subscription to Ruckus Analytics. If they're not present when you get to this page or you just activated them through the online license manager, you can click the refresh licenses button and they should show up. As you can see, I have several licenses available on this system. To assign AP licenses, select the edit button for the license pool you're going to use and this will bring up the link licenses and APs pop up. This screen is separated into two parts, the Explore Network section and the Select APs section. From here, you can select APs from different levels of your smart zone hierarchy. You can select APs from a specific AP group of a zone, or you can select all devices under a certain level by clicking on and highlighting the desired selection. Your selection will populate the Select APs section with individual access points. From here, you simply toggle the checkbox next to the APs you want monitored. If you want to select all of them, you can just check this box at the top. Once you finish selecting your APs, click Save. At this point, you have your controller and APs sending data to Ruckus Analytics. Please note that data is not available immediately. These devices are sending a lot of data to the service and it takes a bit of time, typically about an hour, before you start seeing reports on the newly added devices. That's okay, since the power of Ruckus Analytics is in its ability to assess trends and maintain historical data. 
So this completes this presentation detailing the steps for onboarding a smart zone network controller to Ruckus Analytics and the process for licensing access points for monitoring. I hope you found this information useful, and I hope you return for more of the presentations in this Ruckus Analytics series. Thank you for taking the time to view this presentation. Thank you.